Let's solve a couple of questions on analyzing motion using Newton's laws. For the first one, we have a block which is kept between Bhupen and Pranab. Bhupen pulls it towards the left and Pranab pulls it towards the right. Initially, Pranab applies a larger force and the block starts moving toward him, that is in the right direction. But soon after, Bhupen increases his force to match Pranab's. The net force on the block thus becomes zero. We need to describe the motion of the block immediately after the net force on it becomes zero. Alright, why don't you pause the video and give this one a try first. Alright, hopefully you have given this a shot. Now let's try to represent what's happening. So we have a box and we have two people, Bhupen who is pulling the box towards the left and Pranam who is pulling the box toward the right. So what happens initially, Pranam applies a larger force. Let's represent a larger force with a longer arrow and Bhupen is applying a smaller force initially so so a smaller arrow so because of this what happens the block starts moving toward right that is towards Pranab and we can see that why that is happening so if this is the force applied by Pranab if this is force applied by Bhupen initially we know that the condition is FP it's greater than FB which means that there will be a net force in the right direction let's let's show the net force with the blue arrow so there is this much of net force this is f net and whenever there is an f net we know that there will be there will be an acceleration involved this is the newton's second law and in the same direction as the force so we have we have the box moving to the right with some acceleration but soon after bhupen increases his force to match pranav's so now, now what happens, the force, this force right here, this is no longer lesser than the force applied by Pranav's, but it is exactly the same. So now you can see what will happen. There will be no net force, right? These two forces are the same. That is the, that is the second case. These two forces are the same. So F net is really zero. There is no F net. F net is just zero. So we might think we might think that when F net becomes zero, the block stops moving. But the block was already moving to the right and then F net, the net force becomes zero. So would the block really stop moving? Let's let's try and understand that by by bringing in some numbers. So let's go back to the initial the initial state that was when that was when there was an F net and there was no F B equal to F P. But in fact, the force due to Pranav was more than the force due to Bhupendra. Sorry, Bhupen. So, uh, so in this, when the condition was like this, I'm drawing it over here. Then there was a net force, right? The net force was towards the right. And when there is a net force, there will be some acceleration. Let's say, assume a random number. Let's say the acceleration is over here, 10 meters per second square completely not random number but now when Bhupen started increasing the force to the left when this arrow became even longer at this point there was some net force not as much as the initial case but still there was some right which means there's there will still be some acceleration but much less than 10 maybe 4 we don't know 4 meters per second square the block is still moving to the right with increasing velocity because there is a positive acceleration now when Bhupen further increased the force to the left so that the force to the right and the force to the left they were e equal to each other there was then no net force net force was zero which means acceleration is zero but the block was already moving to the right because it experienced 10 meters per second acceleration squared then then it might be experiencing more acceleration 6, 7, 8 and 4 to the right so it is experiencing all these positive accelerations to the right which means the velocity was continuously increasing and it was moving to the right and now when the acceleration became zero, velocity doesn't really become zero, but the velocity stops increasing and it already had some velocity because it experienced so many accelerations. So the block keeps on moving to the right and that is option B. The block continues moving to the right with a constant, constant velocity. All right, let's look at one more question. Here we have an object which is moving to the right with a certain velocity. It starts slowing down at time t1 and comes to rest at time t2. It stays at rest thereafter. Which of these could correctly describe the variation of the net force on the object from t1 to t2? Again, pause the video, read the options, give this one a try first. Alright, hopefully you have given this a shot as well. So again, let's try to represent what's happening. So we have an object, let's say here is the object and the object is moving to the right with some velocity v. Now at time t1, let's say this is time t1, the object starts slowing down. It starts slowing down and at time t2, 
the object comes to a state of rest here the velocity from v it starts starts to slow down starts to slow down slow down and then velocity becomes zero which of these could correctly describe the variation of the net force on the object from t1 to t2 so let's think about it if the velocity is decreasing if velocity if velocity decreases then it means then it means there must be an acceleration acceleration opposite which is opposite to the direction of motion to the direction of motion writing that as dom direction of motion so that means if, if if for this case we have drawn the block to the right moving to the right so acceleration would be to the left there will be an acceleration to the left and whenever there is an acceleration involved whenever there is an acceleration we know there will be some force right because forces cause accelerations and according to newton's second law you have f net which is equal to m a force if there is an acceleration there will be a force involved so that means there must be a force to the left direction we don't know what that is really could be friction could be air resistance could be could be someone else pushing the block in the opposite direction that's not relevant we need to think about the variation of the net force so if the block starts slowing down there must be a net force which will be to the to the left okay so in the question it's already given that the block is moving to the right so we drew it also to the right that's good so the force force would be to the left could be option b and could be option c now option b says net force is toward the left and constant net force is toward the left and decreasing okay now the question is is the force constant or is the force decreasing let's read the question again we have object moving to the right with a certain velocity all right starts slowing down comes to rest and it stays at rest thereafter so at t2 the block comes to a state of rest there is no velocity neither moves to the right nor to the left now if there would have been a force if there would have been a constant force toward the left then after coming to a state of rest the block would start moving to the left because the force is to the left direction but if the force is decreasing if the force was this much to begin with then decrease slightly then decrease even more then even more then became zero then the block will come to a state of rest and it will stay at rest because now there is no force which can cause an acceleration towards the left so the force must be decreasing because the block stays at rest thereafter if the block started moving to the left then the force would have been a constant force right which would have caused an acceleration which would have moved the block in the left direction but the block is at rest which means there is no acceleration and which means there is there is no there is no force so this one is option c all right you can try more questions from this exercise in the lesson and if you are watching on youtube do check out the exercise link which is added in the description